Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today what I want to do is talk about more of these Facebook group posts and give more examples of people that are identifying as having a true neurological condition such as ME-CFS, toxic, toxic neuroencephalopathy. I can't even speak today, I apologize. And when in fact many of these people basically have mental health issues. You know, it's kind of, and I'm gonna say this and I've said this before and it's upset people before. A lot of people who are identifying as having this condition also identify with transgender issues. There's a lot of mental health challenges going on in this world. And somehow they are finding a home with this condition. They are identifying as having this condition. And as a result, they are destroying our credibility. Let me show you one of the posts I put on my WordPress account today, or the other day, I guess it was. Here we go. This is my true ME CFS uncensored WordPress account. Um, and basically the conversation starts, this is what I wrote up here. One more Facebook group post of why people think we're nuts. And this is from the group, this 25% of ME support group for severe ME CFS. And this is a woke group. I mean, this group, you either agree with them or you are, it is, when it comes to transgender, being pro-transgender, that's what this group is. Okay, let's talk about Mandy here. Emotional symptoms. I'm not sure what TW stands for. I just cut and pasted this out of the Facebook page. Today was a very, very bad day and still is. I can barely walk, severe nausea, diarrhea, severe temperature, deregulation, chills, freezing, hot, cold. I have trouble talking, forming sentences. I can barely make it to the bathroom in the night. It feels like I'm paralyzed. All these things are red flags for people with psychiatric conditions who identify as having ME. I can't stand sound, light stimulation. I'm too sick to talk on the phone. I have horrendous pain all over my body, especially in my muscles. Pain all over is a red flag for people that are seeking pain medications, by the way. I am holding my urine for hours at night because I physically can't get my body up into the bathroom. When I wake up, I feel like I'm a, I am strapped to the bed with restraints. My mom suggests I wear a diaper and pee in it during the night and then talk, throw it on the floor. I worry about UTIs because I can't take antibiotics due to severe C CD, if whatever that is, history. My mom suggested I tried to get pain management, but I doubt my doctors will approve it because I'm already on Xanax and primary care doctors hardly believe I'm sick or in ME. Okay. And then I go down and I give my little two cents on the subject. You know, 50 people responded to this woman. And every one of them gave her gentle hugs, told her how sorry they were for her, basically reinforced her situation. In other words, they enabled her. Um, when somebody like myself tries to go on there, I have to be silent when I'm in these groups. 
when somebody like myself tries to go out there and say anything, we I get shouted down and I know others like myself do as well. And that's why I'm doing these posts the way I'm doing them because I can't speak honestly in these groups. Because if I do, I get banned, I get shouted down, I get thrown out, and so on. Um, and this is a lady who, every day, she's giving another sympathy. You know, she's given another example of this. We know she's on Xanax, we know she has pain all over, we know her doctors don't believe she's even sick. Her mom's enabling her by telling her to, you know, use a diaper and to pee on it and then throw it onto the floor in the morning, I guess. Go back to the camera. Folks, it's because of people like this that the medical community does not believe a damn thing you're saying or I'm saying. Our credibility has been so clouded by these people with mental health issues that regardless of what we say, it, it's meaningless. You know, everybody is so focused on, you know, these activisms and they're focused on being radical being militant being activists you know to me the the best approach would be to start telling people to start acting in a way that doesn't make you look like a damn idiot because a lot of us look like damn idiots a lot of us look like drug seekers a lot of us are exactly what the doctors say we are and then you got those few of us who kind of get caught in the middle of it all who actually do have true MECFS or true neurotoxic encephalopathy the sister condition of MECFS so when we go to the medical community we get laughed out of the building because we just the symptoms we describe Mandy described If the, if the MECFS community, ME Action, wants to make a difference, and I said this to the NRA as well. You know, I used to be a federally licensed gun dealer who did not support the NRA. You talk about being Mr. Popularity. I told the NRA you need to regulate from within. You need to look at your message boards and you need to start cleaning them up. You got crazies representing this organization. And I was shouted down just like I am with the MACFS community. You get wackos. The MECFS community is full of wackos. Yes, you may have a lot of people with medical challenges, but for so many of them, their mental health issues have overruled their medical challenges. If you notice, my approach is very different I'm not laying in bed. I'm not smoking on a pot pipe. I'm not looking for medications. I get up and I walk. I move. You know, it's right now 8 o'clock central, 8 o'clock p.m. central time. When I wake up in the morning, I generally am okay. Granted, I'm in a lot of pain. Of course, I've had 29 operations. Every joint I have in my body is artificial. 
and my spine and my neck is fused. So I should have pain. <laughs> it's not imaginary pain. It's not withdrawal pain because I don't take the meds. I don't take any antipsychotics. I don't take any antidepressants. I don't take Adderall. I don't take any of that stuff. I don't take pain pills. And yet I function at a different level than a lot of people. Yet my condition was a result of a nerve agent exposure, which was actually a what is called a 24 chem, which is a horrific level. It's kind of like getting hit by radiation. And you're the first one at the door. For so many people, they have turned this condition into a wheelchair lifestyle. You know, it, it's so much easier just to pee on yourself than to get out of bed. I know, I know, I knew some people like that. My wife was a, she worked with when she was an EMT, she would go to these people's houses and instead of getting out of bed and, to go to the bathroom, they would just pee themselves. It was easier. Never understood that. <laughs> I mean, you walk into their house and it just reeks. You know, what does that do to your mindset? I mean, what does that do to your mental health? Nobody likes me. That's because you smell like pee. Because it was easier not to get out of bed. It was easier not to figure out a way to overcome the challenge. You know, it is hard to move. It is hard to get up. It is hard to do this stuff. But just like losing weight, it's not, it doesn't happen overnight. But you have to be the one that makes the initiative to make it happen. Of course, I'm not a great person to explain weight. I've lost a lot of weight over the years. <laughs> You know, I haven't responded to Whitney in weeks now. Uh, you know, when I, I look at the Mandy post, and I look at Whitney, the first thing that just I think of is, so what are these people going to do when mom and dad die? Who's going to take care of you? You know, the time to figure out how to overcome the challenge is before your caretakers die. Or you can't afford them. Or they evict your sorry ass because you keep peeing all over the place. If the ME Action Group wants to make a difference, they need to look within at their members and start being honest with their members. Instead of embracing every pea-covered person, every wheelchair Amazon buyer they, they can come up with, who, by the way, represents membership dollars for them, they should be looking at their own people and saying, stop doing what you're doing because you make this condition, you reinforce the stigma of this condition for so many other people. You know, if we were dealing with leukemia, that would be addressed. If we were dealing with breast cancer, that would be addressed. You know, a person can't run around saying they have breast cancer. Fundraising for breast cancer and not have breast cancer. 
you know, you can't be running around telling everybody you have leukemia and then seeking funding through GoFundMe accounts. I have leukemia, but you don't. You got mental health problems and you identify as having a condition that you don't have. The ME community needs to understand. People say two, three, five, ten million people have this condition. Well, they may now because of long COVID. But they don't have this condition from MECFS. ME Action has done a decent job at times. But God, they have become woke, militant, radicals, embracing every nut job that comes along. You know, there are so many of those, they support so many people who have communist beliefs. They hate white people. You know, if you're a communist black militant, they love you. How many people realize who support ME Action that ME Action supports people who are black militant communists? I'm just making this video because I'm bored tonight. I'm watching Clint Eastwood's Play Misty for me on Netflix. Looks like a decent movie. I haven't seen it before. But I just wanted to make this video because people need to hear an alternative voice. And hopefully a voice from somebody who's somewhat reasonable. I'm not some crazy guy. I'm just some guy who does not want to see an individual who's in a bad situation be ignored by the medical community. Because people like Mandy got there first. And there's a lot of good people who are sick or not being taken seriously because of the Mandy's of the world. And because ME Action embraces the Mandy's of the world. Be safe, do your own homework, be smart. You will not get better. There is not a cure for this condition. You have a brain injury if you have this condition. But there are things you can do to make your life a little bit easier at times. Even though it's extremely difficult to do, you must do it. Otherwise, you're going to be peeing on yourself. Get up, folks. Get up and do something. Get up and move. Get up and stretch. Get up and walk. And if you have a loved one who's in this situation, don't let them tell you they can't. Because they must. Till next time, have a good one.